So you're looking at the most efficient means of transportation known to man, the bicycle. The maintenance is minimal, and there is no energy requirement other than the rider, who can comfortably attain speeds of 25 miles per hour. Well, with a few well-placed alterations, that efficiency can be doubled, and in some cases, tripled. They're called human-powered vehicles, or HPVs. They may look funny, but these cars are designed and driven by people who are very serious about the future. They believe that this mode of transportation can be an answer to oil and air pollution problems. It's not science fiction, but science fact. These are the fastest bicycles in the world. And today, we're in Compton, California, at the Dodson Compton Bicycle Races to see how they operate and watch their performance. vehicles are built low to the ground to reduce the aerodynamic drag and create an effect called streamlining. A normal bike rider is actually pushing air, which causes wind resistance and slower speeds. But streamlining will enable these cars to hit speeds of 60 miles per hour. The world record of 58 miles per hour is currently held by Versatron Research Corporation, designers of the Vector. They have two HPVs in this six-lap race. The car body is molded fiberglass with a plastic canopy cover and a tubular steel frame. It has a built-in roll bar for safety. Everything is custom designed for the particular size of the rider. He reclines in a gently curved seat, giving full support to the back. It may seem strange to drive from that position, but as you can see, they can move. All I want to know is where they put the air conditioner. Well, the speed seems good, but you have to travel by yourself, and sometimes steering is a problem. Luckily, there were no injuries except a bruised ego. The race appears very close among the two vectors and a car with a front reclining design. Driver Greg Johnson lies on his stomach instead of his back. Johnson has it. Yes, he's the winner. Our congratulations to the victor. There are no sad faces at this race because the real objective was to demonstrate this new approach to an old idea. Thank you, Les Holmes of Lakewood, Colorado, because you asked for it. <laughs>